Hello folks, Will Buxton and Lawrence Barreto with news breaking from the beach here at Zandvoort because Kimi Raikkonen has announced via Instagram that he is hanging up his helmet in Formula 1 at least at the end of the season. Yeah, 19 seasons he's been with us, 42 at the end of the year. I guess maybe we should have seen it coming and that this is, this is it. This is it, as he said. I think we did see it, it coming, didn't we? A, a lot of people have expected this for some time. What do you think has made him make his mind up? So he said on Instagram that he decided last winter, I think he would have probably seen how a couple of years at Alfa Romeo has been good for him, but perhaps not what he wanted to be doing. He's often talked about how he enjoys life outside of Formula One. Um, he's involved in a motocross team. He has got plenty of interest, and I think now is the right time for him to go and try something different. He is, of course, a Formula One world champion, 21 Grand Prix victory, 18 pole positions, 48 fastest laps. I think that's quite a telling statistic. Yeah, he's got to be pretty pretty pleased with that effort. 344 Grand Prix as well, you missed that one off. 341 starts though. There we go. <laughs> but still, a, a mighty achievement. Um, and for a driver like Kimi, he probably thought multiple times during his career, he probably wouldn't last that long. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, he did leave the sport uh, to go and try out a bit of rallying, a bit of NASCAR ultimately came back because he just loved it so much and I think ultimately that's the thing about Kimi that that I'm going to remember and that I think about is beyond the memes and the ice cream and the steering wheel steering wheel and and you know I know what I'm doing or I know what to do if you get the quote actually correct um it's kind of, you kind of lose behind all of that the fact that Kimi has stayed around for as long as he has because he just loves Formula One. And that, that for me, is, is what the essence of Kimi is. Beyond all of that meme stuff, it's, that's Kimi. And I think that's why his time at Alfa Romeo has been so happy for him because he's gone back to the team that he started his career with, Sauber, formerly as it was known. And he's always looked so happy since yeah. he's been here, even though he's not getting the results, of course, that he aspires to do. So I suppose at least he gets to decide on his own terms what he wants to do with his future he's not kind of getting pushed aside saying someone telling him he's not good enough anymore he's decided what he wants to do and we've still seen plenty of times in the last couple of years the Kimi of old what does the future hold for Alfa Romeo uh, well that is the million dollar question yeah. I've got to say that Valtteri Bottas replacing Kimi Räikkönen has got to be the the, the the key line now I think that's the favorite favorite option or will they go with you because they have a, an incredibly talented young driver in their roster. Teo Porcher is so highly regarded in the sport. Fred Vasser absolutely loves the kid, knows that he's ultimately the future of the team. Will they try and get him in for 22? I think they'd be quite keen for a blend of youth and experience. I think that's worked quite well with Kimi and Antonio. Um, so I think they'll probably try and fill one cockpit with that experience, and that could be Bottas. I think the other cockpit is very much up for grabs. Um, I think Wang Yin Zhou has got to be in, in with a shout. I think Nick De Vries is in with a shout as well. Um, I think that, you know, I'm going to say in that order. And John like, Nancy? I think probably the time has probably come for Antonio. He's done a, he's done a good job for Alfa Romeo, but I feel like maybe this is the opportunity for Alfa Romeo to maybe try something new. Interestingly, Teo Porcher tweeted a photo of him from the simulator saying he's just completed 500 laps over the last two days. They are training him up. Also this afternoon, Callum Eilat, who is Alfa Romeo's reserve and test driver, also test driver for Scuderia Ferrari, has been announced that he is looking at, Indy, well not just looking at IndyCar, will be racing for Juncos uh, at the next race in IndyCar, of course second in Formula 2 last year to Mick Schumacher had hoped to move into Formula 1 a lot of people hoped that he would be in Formula 1 this year it looks as though he's seen the writing on the wall and perhaps the potential lack of opportunities at Alfa Romeo and is now shifting his focus elsewhere yeah I think it's interesting that maybe you mentioned earlier about Fred wanting to focus on youth if Callum isn't the right one and he, maybe he's been told already that he hasn't got a chance next year um, then maybe he will Fred will look maybe more long term because Alfa Romeo of course are going to be staying in sport for, for the long term yeah. and and so he can now start to build a project and maybe that is going for someone youthful so that he can try and build up and maybe use a more experienced driver and I mentioned Bottas again as someone who can train them up. Uh, Favourite Kimi memory? Um, Sorry I just threw that one yeah, on you. you threw, yeah. Uh, there are so many aren't I there? I would say that Japanese Grand Prix when he came through from the back of the field. Um, mega performances. I think we often forget his time at McLaren how mega he was, how close he came to the world title there of course. Yeah. Um, I love from when we started, from when I started working with F1 and did an interview with him when he was still at Ferrari at the end of the year in Brazil and asked how his motivation was and his reply was as bad as ever, which <laughs> was said in a beautifully Kimmy way, 
but belied the fact that his motivation has always been sky high. Every year people asked him about his motivation and he always sighed at that question because he wouldn't have been coming back every year if he wasn't motivated. And as we said at the top, he did it because he absolutely loved the sport. It's what's made him a fan favourite. It's what means he will be massively missed. I'm gonna miss him. Yeah, we'll all miss him uh, when he leaves Formula 1, not just for his racecraft, but for his personality as well. Um, the Dutch Grand Prix here at Zandvoort is just around the corner. Big news, of course, starting it. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you over the weekend.